Saffron is the most precious spice not only in Iran but also in the world. It is so precious that we call it red gold. Over 80% of the saffron in the world is produced here in Iran. We not only use it for garnishing our food, but also we use it in tea, in coffee, and even as medicine. We're gonna find out how saffron is made, how to use it in our food, in medicine, how to look for a quality saffron, and also we're gonna learn how to prepare and use it in our food. So today we are with Abed, a saffron specialist. Um, so Abed, how this saffron is made? So we have two different type crocus. We have spring crocus and autumn crocus, which saffron is an autumn crocus, mm -hmm. which the harvest started from like September and early October. And this kind of crocus usually grow in a high altitude. So Iran is a high land, very suited for this kind of plant. So this is the bulb and the bulb can live around like seven to eight, nine years. And mm -hmm. every year it has like four to seven shoots of flowers. Oh. So actually, as you see, this is the flower and each flower has only three pistil. So the quality of saffron, as the pistil is longer, broader and bright color is better quality. So which means usually, the first harvest of every year is the best quality. So, and especially if it's a young bulb, which means like three to four, five years old bulb, and the mm -hmm. first harvest, that makes the best result. So the saffron started from here to the top. So the most property of saffron is in the top part of the pistol. So tell me how many flowers does it take to give you one gram? Well, good question. Like, we have a bouquet here. So this bunch comes out of over a thousand of flowers. So 1,000 flowers approximately, which means over 3,000 pistols gives you 10 gram of saffron. So tell me about the different qualities of saffron. For example, what is the difference between these Saffrons. Well, Reina, at the first look, all looks the same, mm -hmm. but very big difference between all of these kind of saffron. So first of all, I would like to show you this one. So which is our average quality. Well, this is very good quality. Usually we sell this quality. As you see, the pistols are shorter or some of them are broken. Yeah. So we sell this quality to the restaurants and ice cream shops which the coloration and the aroma is really good. Mm -hmm. And it's more economical. It's cheaper than other. Makes sense. And we have other qualities like this one. So this one also, it's considered as the first harvest. So oh, as wow. you see, the pistols are longer in this one. It smells really good. Yeah. So in one harvest of the farm, so all varies the first harvest, the second harvest, the third harvest, they all kept separate. So this is from one farm. This one is really good to cook at home. Or if I show you this one, as you see this one, the pistols are a bit longer and yeah. the top part is even broader. Yeah. So in the laboratories, they can distinguish what's the difference of the property, like how much property, which mm -hmm. mean, which is crocin inside crocus. So crocin is what makes the blood circulation faster and affected directly on the nerves. So this one has the highest amount of Crocine. Wow. So, too expensive to use it for food. True. So, it has very high amount of crocine, which used for like anxiety, depression, Alzheimer, Parkinson. What it does actually, it connecting disconnected nerves. Interesting. Yeah. Does it makes you happier? Oh, 
Yeah, actually, absolutely. Like if you take this much saffron a day, you cannot stop laughing. <laughs> okay, Abed, how do we use saffron? Good question. So the best way is when you want to buy saffron, you should buy as pistol. And not powder. Not powder. Okay. But when you want to use it, the best way is to powder it for food. Mm -hmm. So here, I have nine pistols and nine pistols, which means like three flowers here, three flowers here. So I just put the nine pistols in this one and I will grind the other nine here. So it's very easy. It's very crispy. So just put it in a piece of paper. So the best way is you better use grinder or mortar and pestle okay. to grind it. But I just yeah. use a piece of paper because I want to grind only nine pestles. And I put it in this little cup. So we have same quality of saffron, same mm -hmm. amount. Mm -hmm. And now we just add water, hot water in this one and also in this one. Wow. So you see, when it's grinded, there are more surface area to be able to release more color and aroma and property. Mm -hmm. But if you want to brew it for drinking, the best way you just keep the pistols just like this, brew it like this, but for longer time. Okay. Don't boil saffron, it's not good. Okay, Abel, how long will it last? Well, it depends how often do you use saffron. So this is how like almost one gram look like, like one gram. So one gram saffron, if you want to use for like drinking and medicine, mm -hmm. usually 0.1 to 0.2 gram of saffron is good for one person for one day. So like if you divide it on like five to ten parts like each part is for one day mm -hmm. but if you want to cook usually a third of a gram which is this much is enough for four people to make a dish like to making risotto okay. yeah well saffron usually it lasts for like two to three years mm -hmm. so but after three years, it's gonna be like darker and it, it will lose the flavor and aroma. And it's better to use the saffron of the year always. Why? Uh, because it loses the flavor. And it's better to keep it in a dry place. So the humidity is not really good for saffron. I believe that saffron is one of the best souvenirs that people can buy when they are in Iran. So how much saffron do people usually buy when they are buying it as a souvenir? Well, if you want to just take as a souvenir, like two, three grams is good. Mm -hmm. It's not too, too little, it's not too much, but it depends what quality you want to buy and how often your friends use saffron. Okay, so like, for example, how much saffron will be in this one well this container it's for usually for 10 grams so we can fill like seven eight to ten grams of the top quality but if you take like the restaurant quality because it's heavier and wow. smaller you can fill like over 20 grams in this little box okay Abed, is there any final point that you want to mention about saffron yeah well saffron is good for everyone for everything but the only time you should not use saffron, especially for ladies, during pregnancy and period time. Is it because of the blood circulation? Exactly. So because it makes blood circulation, especially for pregnant women, is not recommended. Okay, so in old a, time, that's a good point. In the old time, if they want to make abortion, they make plenty of saffron. Oh, wow. To make abortion without depression. With, oh, being happy, right? Yeah. <laughs> so after delivery, it's good because after delivery usually brings depression. 
and it's anti-depression. True. It's good to use yes. saffron. So guys, this was everything you needed to know before buying saffron and how to use it. We talk about how saffron is made, how to use it in our food, what kind to buy, and of course, how much to buy. So, Abed, thank you so much for the time that you have allocated. And to You're you welcome. guys, we hope to see you guys in Iran one day soon. And until that time, see you in the next video. See you.